Hey Social Studies family, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, so today we're gonna uh, continue our new way of doing social studies where you guys have to find the information. Uh, you guys did awesome yesterday. I know there were some hiccups with the quiz and then like if you ca didn't capitalize it, it marked you guys wrong. Don't worry about that. Uh, we're looking for the answers and we're not worried about the points as much. Um, for today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to finish reading those pages. So we're going to read pages 93, 94, and 95. Uh, you're going to read about farmers pushing for change, new industries and goods, and Indiana and oil. It's, it seems like three pages, but it's really only two and a half pages. After you read that, you are going to have to, uh, your assignment after you read it, is you are going to have to pretend you are an entrepreneur from 1884. And you need to be like the entrepreneurs you read about. So if you don't know what an entrepreneur is, you will read about them. Uh, but you'll read about like Eli Lilly, and he came up with medicines and made a man company with medicines. Uh, the Ball Brothers uh, made glass jars. Uh, Madam C.J. Walker um, uh, had makeup. And last yesterday we read about uh, uh, James Oliver and the plow. So your job is to pretend you are an entrepreneur in 1884. You have to come up with a, a good or a product that you can sell to people back then. And to help you out, you might need to answer a few of these questions. So when you sell it, are you going to sell it in a big city or to small farmers? How are you going to move your goods? Remember, this is 1884, so no cars yet. Um, some other questions you might want to think about uh, is how you move your goods, where you sell it, and how will you advertise it? Remember, there's no TV or internet then. So what form of advertising did they use back then? So you were an entrepreneur from the 1840s, come up with a good or service that you could provide to people back then. It can be something simple. Um, it doesn't have to be a big, huge thought out thing. And then you're gonna respond, and you can respond two different ways. You can either write it out or blog it, blog with a B, and type out an answer, or you can uh, make a video of yourself and vlog it just like this, and upload that video of yourself uh, vlogging what you would be as an entrepreneur in the late 1800s in Indiana. Um, I look forward to seeing what you guys are, and I'll see you in the next vlog.